Hey everybody, Jed here with Skookum Arts, and welcome to a little behind the scenes video about the development of the pedestrian. So recently we've been talking about creating more videos that kind of detail the development and let everybody in on what we're doing and how we're doing it. So that's what this video is going to be and hopefully we're not quite sure about the frequency of the videos or what they're going to be a about in particular, but hopefully those will be coming out in the near future, just more of these. And the other thing is, a couple weeks ago, we released a video just detailing what we had done the previous month and kind of just showing the progress that, that we've made. And those will continue. Those are going to be going out basically once a month. And there again, they're just going to explain like what we've done and how we're progressing. And so as far as this video is concerned though, we just kind of wanted to give you a little tour of the downtown and show you kind of how things are laid out, just a brief tour. So we have, we have, I think it's seven areas in the game and they're reasonably compact. Um, and that's because we are a small team, we, we need to try to reuse as much area as possible so that we can kind of fit as much detail in there as possible. But each of the areas is uh, divided out into multiple scenes and the scenes contain different things so we have every area we have a scene that contains everything that is dynamic so this would be all of the signs all of the um, all of the little bits and bobs that make everything work um, and this is this is actually what what makes the game play for uh, more more or less this is what makes it play um, and then we have each of the areas has all of their assets divided out into multiple scenes. These scenes, we've been working on trying to get the, the scenes to be um, divided out in such a way that it makes loading easier and more quickly. Um, and then also, it is nice if we have all the scenes divided out, then um, it helps with working concurrently with more people. So. Um, I could be working on a, on a scene making changes while uh, one of the other fellows in the team can be working in a different scene. Um, and we're working in the same area, but we're just modifying different scenes. Um, and then we also have every single area has a lighting scene. Uh, the lighting scene just contains things like um, the individual lights for baking, um, the reflection probes and whatnot, and like particle systems and everything. So that's how we've kind of structured our scenes. Um, as far as like the the stuff that's in the scenes, um, every single puzzle, once we've made them, um, we, we come into uh, like the world tool scene which contains everything that's dynamic and we'll add in basically like a placeholder. So every single sign and puzzle in the game is placed within the scenes with this um, kind of template. It's like a placeholder that points back to our, our level and we can place them, we can rotate them, get them where we want them. Um, and then once we load the game, um, then the sign will be created and spawned where these little templates are. So that is kind of the, the, the brief description of the area and some of the things we're doing. Um, one of the other things I wanted to show you was we have to actually play the game we've uh, we've made this little scene um, called the master scene and this this scene basically has the entire game in it and this is kind of like it's just a structure for loading and unloading the areas so we we can quickly and easily as we're developing things and we're testing stuff we can go in here, we can expand each of the areas, um, we can select which area we want to, or what puzzle we want to start at, and then we just hit play from here, and it, it automatically kind of like, uh, uh, selects each of the si or each of the scenes, it loads them in, it selects the, the proper, uh, puzzle and loads that puzzle in, and it'll just spawn you right in there. So this is just a quick and easy way for us to get in here and test things and whatnot. 
And this is this is basically how it's going to work in the finished game too. Uh, each of the each of the areas that you play um, will basically just be using this master scene, and it'll just go through each of the areas. And once you save it, it'll it'll save what area you're in, what puzzle you're in, and then once you restore, it'll just go back. So, yep, uh, that was just a quick little tour. Um, we'll probably go into a lot more detail about these type of things, but for now, we just wanted to give you a quick little intro. So, thanks for watching. If you're interested in our game and what we're doing, make sure to follow us on social media and wishlist our game on Steam. Thank you.